What is good, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel today, people. Today, I'm Odd Talks and Gaming, and I'm bringing you the Jesse Anderson deck prediction that I have. Uh, so, without further ado, I'm just going to jump into this. Uh, Jesse Anderson is one of the uh, confirmed characters for the Dual Academy GX box that's coming out here in February. Um, I think that he is one of Jaden's like most well-known rivals. Also, he is a fan favorite deck. Uh, Crystal Beast is super cool. It's just the one thing that I have noticed about Crystal Beast, especially in Duel Links, is that they're not that good. Um, and that just comes down to the fact that you need all seven of your Crystal Beast monsters in the graveyard with different names. And there's only seven. And none of them are really that good except for, I think, like maybe two or three of them. And uh, yeah, I, I, maybe in Speed Duels when they come because it's like, you know, a basic format that they won't be that bad. But... I don't know. I think Jesse Anderson just, there's just going to have to be a lot that you have to do to make this deck good. But um, I have a couple of skills that I found in the custom forum for the skill cards. Um, and that, that's Feel the Rainbow. Uh, I think this is a really neat skill. Also, I have no idea if these two skills are in Duel Links or not. <laughs> so if they are, they are. But uh, these two skills I think are really neat um, that I read after reading through all the skills. And it's uh, the requirement is to this card over when you activate it. Um, once per turn, you can either discard a Crystal Beast card and draw a card, or send a Crystal Beast monster from your deck to the graveyard. So, I think this card would be really cool because it's like a um, Into the Darkness Below type of skill. But, uh, you can fuel your graveyard, so you don't have to have the Foolish Barrels, you can literally just use your skill instead. So, once per turn, fill your graveyard, get all the accessible uh, pieces you need, that way you can get them to the field. Or, you can discard them from your hand and draw a card. So, you just get your Crystal Beast monsters to your graveyard. I think this would be a really neat one. Um, and then the second one is the one I feel like would be better if we got it. And I read this skill and was like, wow, this skill is like really cool. Uh, you can be, you can use this skill by sending one to three cards from your hand to the graveyard. Choose any number of Crystal Beast monsters from your deck as the number of cards you sent from your hand to the graveyard and place them into your spell and trap card zone. So, and then you can only use this skill like twice per duel, which I think is like very fair because it's what your skill is. So essentially what you do is you just discard cards from your hand and then what that does is let you search your deck for your Crystal Beast monsters and just put them into your spell and trap card zone. And I think that would be really, really cool. It kind of turbos out the deck the way that it's supposed to be played. And I, I just really like Transcendent Crystals. The other thing that me and a friend of mine were talking about is a skill that would give you a main phase two. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't think Konami would do that. Uh, like, at all. And it would be really funny just to have a main phase two for one deck in Speed Duels. But the reason why is because there's just one card in uh, Crystal Beast that's literally a vanilla monster unless you have a main phase too. But we'll get to that when we get to that card. So going down the list of the Crystal Beast cards, we have uh, Amber Mammoth. If you don't know what this card does, it says um, you can change the attack uh, to this target whenever a Crystal Beast monster is targeted for an attack that's not him. And then like all Crystal Beasts, if this face-up card is destroyed in your monster zone, you can play it into your spell and trap card zone and face up as a continuous spell. Next we're going to the Amethyst Cat. Uh, this card is um, pretty cool, I guess. <laughs> I don't, I don't really feel like any of these crystal beads really do anything that great. Um, Amethyst Cat, I think, attacks directly, but it's attack it tabs. This card can attack your opponent directly, but when it uses this effect, any battle damage you inflict your opponent's halves. All right, cool. Um, so 600 direct damage is really neat, and it goes to 1200. But most monsters in the current meta kind of just climb this thing. Uh, so um, yeah, going on to the next card is Cobalt Eagle. Uh, I think this is the card I was talking about. It's either this one or the tortoise. Uh, once per turn, you can target a Crystal Beast monster you control and place a card to the top of the deck. Oh, okay. So, target one Crystal Beast card, card you control and place it to the top of the deck. Why would you do that? Oh, I guess you get your monsters back to the top of the deck. Okay, Cobalt Eagle's not that bad. Um, but yeah, Cobalt Eagle's really interesting. And uh, yeah, you know, whenever it's destroyed face up, you get to put it to your spell and trap card face up. So I guess it's tortoise that I was talking about. Once per turn, you can target one monster you control that... Uh, that attacked this turn meaning you can't use this card's effect during the battle phase because you can't use monster effects during the battle phase unless they're like specified to be used during then and um, so like this card is literally just useless it's literally just a 2000 defender with an effect um, and I just yeah it's not that great but you can target one monster you control that attack this turn change that target to defense position like cool <laughs> this card does nothing when it's face up card is destroyed uh, you put it face up in your spell and trap card zone. Uh, next is Topaz Tiger. Uh, Topaz Tiger is a really cool one. Uh, I think he's in like the top three best ones. I should have probably done Mammoth before I did any of these. Probably did Tortoise first, but oh well. 
Uh, Topaz Tiger, in my opinion, is like the third best uh, generic Rainbow Beast or yeah, Crystal Beast monster. If this card attacks an opponent's monster, it gains 400 attack during the damage step only, making it 2,000 beater. It's literally like a power corrupt Blade Knight for a format. The only difference is that it's not like stopping flip effects or anything like that. Um, if this face-up card is destroyed in a monster zone, place it in your spell and trap card zone like all the rest of them. So yeah, that's what he does. Uh, probably, like I said, I think he's definitely the third best. And then, you know, Mammus is probably the fourth best. Uh, Eagle is the fifth. And then Cat's the sixth. And Tortoise is the seventh. But going on to our second best Crystal Beast monster in the deck, it's Crystal Beast Ruby Carbuncle. This card is insane. I like whenever my buddy uh, Alex would play Crystal Beast when we were younger. This card was like the be one of the best cards he would play. Uh, but it says when this card is special summoned, you can special summon any as many Crystal Beast monsters as possible from your spell or trap card zone. So it, it's special summon, and then all of those monsters that just got sent to your spell and trap card zone are now summoned to your field. But you only have three zones, so you only get to choose two. But still, this is a really, really good effect. Um, if this card, face-up card is destroyed in the monster zone, place it in the spell and trap card zone as a continuous spell card. So this is one of your like better cards. And then, in my opinion, the best card in the uh, you know this Crystal Beast deck is the Crystal Beast Sapphire Pegasus. So this card is absolutely insane. This is your best Crystal Beast monster. It's going to be a three of in every single deck. And it's like, just because Jesse's coming means that this card is going to be in speed duels now. Like you can't make, give us Crystal Beast without Sapphire Pegasus. So this card says, when this card is summoned, you can place a Crystal Beast monster from your hand, deck, or graveyard face up in your spell and trap card zone as a continuous spell card. That is insane. This card is literally like a better Stratos because it just works with Crystal Beast so well. You just add any Crystal Beast monster. It could be in your graveyard, in your uh, hand, in your deck, and you just send it to your spell and trap card zone. That's why this card is going to be played at three. Like, there's no reason not to. This card is going to be played at three. Carbuncle is going to be played at three. And then probably like two Crystal Beast, Topaz Tiger. We're probably not playing Rainbow Dragon unless they have a, like a skill to cheat it out. But we are getting Rainbow Dragon. That's like no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Like Rainbow Dragon's coming to the game. If you don't know what this card does, it's an ultimate crystal monster. It can't be normal summoned or set, and has to be special summoned by this card effect by having seven Crystal Beast monster cards with different names. Uh, and it has, they have to be on your field or in your graveyard. This card cannot activate the following effect to turn it special summoning, but it's a quick effect, making it like insane. Also, did you see this attack points? 4,000 attack points. Anyway. Quick effect, you can send all Crystal Beast monsters you control to the graveyard. This card gains 100 or 1,000 attack uh, for each monster sent to the graveyard. So it's like an FTK kind of card. Uh, already, it's like like if this card goes through with no monsters on your opponent's uh, side of the field, it's like instant death. But in this case, it's like you destroy all of those cards, gain a 1,000 attack for each. It makes it even easier to climb cards and then inflect the 4,000. Um, the other effect is you can banish all Crystal Beast monsters from your graveyard and shuffle all cards on the field into the deck. So it's also like a kind of board wipe, kind of like a uh, Black Rose Dragon, but not really. Rainbow Dragon has a lot of like neat effects. If they bring a, like a way to cheat it out through a skill, that'd be really cool. But I couldn't see like like if they do that, Rainbow's like Crystal Beast become the best deck. Uh, being able to get Rainbow Dragon out like with the utmost of ease is like would be crazy. Seer Karibos kill it though. Any card that switches to defense mode just kind of like annihilates it. But other than for that, like this card's insane. I'm going on into the spell cards. I should probably talk about the ones I want to talk about the least last, right? So we'll get to those last. Um, first is Beacon. Special summon a Crystal Beast monster from your deck. You must have two or more Crystal Beast cards in your spell and trap card zone to activate and resolve this effect. So this card would be really cool in the late game. I think it's like a card, like it's a card that's played in Crystal Beast. I think right now maybe. But uh, it's just a really neat one. You get two of your monsters to your spell and trap card zone, especially any of them from your deck. This allows you to special summon your uh, Crystal Beast Sapphire Pegasus. Pegasus effect will activate, and then you will fill your zone with the third Crystal Beast card. Um, Crystal Blessing. Target up to two Crystal Beast monsters in your graveyard and place those targets face up in your spell trap card zone and continue the spell cards. This is like a recursion spell. Very cool. Um, it kind of reminds me of the... Uh, lab card. I don't know what the name is off the top of my head, but it's the um, spell card that lets you target two of your normal monsters from your graveyard and add them to your hand. It's just this card for Crystal Beast, and they go to your spell and trap cards. Then uh, next is uh, Crystal Tree. This card's cool, but it's a continuous spell card, so I wouldn't see why any of us would play it. But it doesn't mean that's not coming to speed duels. 
Uh, each time a Crystal Beef monster is placed in either player's spell and type card zone, which is why I think it's cool because it says either players, uh, place one Crystal Counter on this card. You can send this card uh, to the graveyard, take a number of Crystal Beast monsters from your deck equal to the number of Crystal Counters that were on this card, and place them face up in your spell and trap card zone. So if you get three counters, or two, two counters, I guess, because you always want to keep that one zone open, you can send Crystal Tree to the graveyard and activate them both from your deck. Uh, next on our list is Crystal, crystal Value. This is our draw card, I think. If you control two or more Crystal Beast cards in your spell and trap card zone, your opponent chooses one Crystal Beast card in your spell and trap card zone, send it to the graveyard if you do draw two cards. So this is like, kind of becomes like the pot of greed of the deck. And like every single monster in your deck goes through your spell and trap card zone. The only difference is that you have to have two to use this effect. So, and, and you can't use it right away, but it's still a really neat card to have. Last on our list, or not last on our list, uh, getting into the uh, three best crystal cards that I think could come to the format spell wise is uh, Crystal Promise. Uh, this card says target this crystal beast card in your spell and trap card zone, fetch some of that target. Uh, this card kind of turns the deck on. The deck, like, uh, you summon uh, Crystal Beast, Sapphire, Pegasus, use its effect, send Carbuncle or whatever, Topaz Tiger, I guess. And then what you do is use Crystal Promise off of that, summon your Topaz Tiger. So this kind of like tur turns the deck into like a special summon from the deck kind of thing, but you have to have certain pieces to do it. And I think that could be really cool. Uh, other cards that I think are really good that could come through the format, and it would be awesome if they did because I love these cards. Rainbow Bridge. This is one of the newer cards that just came out uh, for Crystal Beast, and it says add one Crystal Spell or Trap card from your deck to your hand. So you can actually use this card to grab your Promise, making you play six Promise, which would be insane. Uh, you can also use it to grab your Trap cards, your, like, you know, any Crystal Spell and Trap. Like, and especially like this card here, Crystal Bond. Uh, this is like the card I think is the best Crystal Spell card to come out ever. This card is so good. If this card comes to Speed Duels, it, it would be like, how is this deck, like, like, if this card came to speed duel, this deck is playable. That's my opinion. Like, this card here is, like, insane. What it says is add one Crystal Beast monster from your deck to your hand. Place one Crystal Beast monster with a different name from your deck face up in your spell and trap card zone as continuous spell. So not only are you adding a monster from your deck to your hand, not only are you reinforcing spell arming a Crystal Beast monster, but you're also adding a Crystal card from, or a Crystal Beast monster from your deck to your spell and trap card zone. So you use this effect. Put your Topaz Tiger into your Spell and Trap card zone. Add Crystal Beast Sapphire Pegasus. Summon the Pegasus and put your other uh, card to the, the Spell and Trap card zone, like Crystal Beast Carbuncle. If you do this and you have Promise in hand, then not only did you just fuel your card with two of them, but you summon Carbuncle and then get your Topaz Tiger as well. Uh, essentially getting three monsters out in one turn, which is like insane. That's really cool. Uh, next is, uh, con is our Trap cards for the deck. Um... I'm going to talk about Paths first. So this card says when your opponent's monster declares an attack, send one Crystal Beast card from your spell and trap card into the graveyard, then target the attacking monster and negate the attack. I think this card would be really neat as like a battle trap for the deck. Uh, I don't think you would really play too much of it, but I think this deck literally is just a spell card deck. But like the trap card, like this trap card I definitely could see coming to the game. Um, next on the Crystal Trap cards, not the generic trap cards. Uh, is this a Crystal Trap? This is a Crystal Trap. Activate this card when your opponent declares an attack. You can select an Angel City, Rainbow Ruins from your deck, and activate it if your opponent... Oh, yeah, I forgot to put that card in here. Uh, we're not putting that in. <laughs> um, but the next card is Crystal Conclave. It's uh, once per turn, if a face-up Crystal Beast monster you control is destroyed by battle or card effect, you can special summon one Crystal Beast monster from your deck. So this card's really cool. The only bad thing is this is a continuous trap card, or this part of the effect is cool. Um, so it's pretty much just saying when a Crystal Beast color you control is destroyed, uh, it's special summon Crystal Beast monster from your deck, uh, summoning the Sapphire Pegasus, you know. And then uh, you can send this face-up card from your field to the graveyard, target Crystal Beast card you control, and one card on the field, return them to the hand. So um, this would be really neat in the aspect of like Crystal Conclave activates, uh, special summon Sapphire Pegasus, Pegasus effect activates, you know, puts. Carbuncle or Topaz to the Spell and Trap card zone. Uses the Conclave here. I think you can even put Sapphire Pegasus. So Sapphire Pegasus puts Sapphire Pegasus to the Spell and Trap card zone. Use Conclave to return your Spell and Trap card Sapphire Pegasus that uh, he's put to the Spell and Trap card zone, and then return one monster your opponent controls to the hand. Like that card, this card could be really good for the format, and like what you would actually be able to play this as a trap card in the deck. Um, the generic cards I think could be added are Gravel Storm. Target a spell trap card on each side of the field, return them to the hand. Um, so, I just, you know, all your monsters are being put as spell cards. So, this would just, 
in my opinion, be a good card to add, good generic card to throw into the box. And the lastly is Rainbow Life. Uh, you discard one card until the end of this turn. Whenever you take damage, you gain that amount of life points instead. Uh, Rainbow Life is currently like in Duel Links, and I think it was being used for a while. I don't know if it still is or not. I haven't played since Pendulums came out. But um, yeah, Rainbow Life is like a really cool card. Um, we should probably look up Ancient City Rainbow Ruins. Um, that way I can talk a little bit about it. So this is Ancient City Rainbow Ruins. This is the field spell card that comes with this deck. And um, I think it's like insane for Crystal Beast. The only bad thing is I don't know if Konami would release this card because you have to have four to five monsters to the field. And yeah, I don't know if that's really like possible. I guess it is because you can kind of like, no, it's not because it has to be spell and trap. You must have it. Uh, so this card reads, you must have this many Crystal Beast cards in your spell and trap zone to activate and resolve its effect. And it goes all the way up to five. Because there's five zone in the regular TCG. So just because it goes up to five, I don't know if we'll get this card. Uh, one is this card cannot be destroyed by card effects. Two is once per turn, uh, including the opponent's turn. You can have the battle damage you take. Three is when a spell or trap card is activated. You can send one Crystal Beast monster. You can throw it to the graveyard, negate the activation, and destroy it. Like this card, this part of the effect is actually insane. It would like makes sense if we got this card just for this effect alone and it's like you max out your zones and you're able to do this and i think that would be really good but it's like also we go into four and five down here and it makes me like go I, we might not get it because we can never get that amount of cards unless our skill sets we can have five cards in our spell and trap card zone that would be insane anyway <laughs> once per turn during your main phase you can draw a card if you have five once per turn during your main phase you can target a crystal piece card in your spell and trap card zone especially some of that target so Rainbow Ruins, definitely a card that I would like to see come to Speed Duels, but a card I'm not, like, I don't think could come. And, like, because of its effect. But, like, they're probably going to bring, um, Tortoise. So, yeah, just give us, give us Rainbow Ruins, I guess. Last on our list of cards I think could come, but probably won't, is going to be Crystal Regeki. Uh, this card, if it came to the format, I think it would become very problematic. But also, I feel like if it does come to the format, it kind of does make this deck of a force to be reckoned with. Um, this trap card literally just says, Tribute a Crystal Beast card from your spell and trap card zone uh, and send it to the graveyard and target a card your opponent controls and destroy it. It's not to target a monster your opponent controls. It's not target a spell or trap card your opponent controls. It's target a card your opponent controls. And that's why I think this card is so good. Um, all your cards are going to the spell and trap card zone when they're destroyed. Every single one of these guys do playing this card in it pretty much makes it to where all of these cards become a um, partnered with this become a destroy one card on the field and uh, that could be very very good and I, I don't know if we would get this card that's why it's down here just because it's so good um, and it's what like if we got this card this deck is competitive this deck becomes probably one of our best decks if like outside of like Jinzo being summoned like Crystal Beasts have a lot of potential, but it really just comes down to, are we getting Regeki? Are we getting um, a decent skill for it that tunes out Rainbow Dragon faster? Um, are we getting any of our good Spell or Trap cards? Like Promise would be insane. Bridge would be insane. Crystal Bomb would be insane. Conclave would be insane. Like if we get any of these five cards here, like even like one of them, it turns like this deck on. Like, I guess Promise not so much, but the, these four here definitely. It turns the deck into something completely different than what it would be without these. So, we'll see. Um, I'm very excited for this to see this deck. I hope it's not like the Beast of Phantom deck that we got in the Battle City box, which didn't really do anything, but it does have that kind of potential to be that kind of deck. But it also has the same potential to be one of our best decks. Um, but yeah, if you guys like this kind of content, make sure you leave a like. If you like me, make sure to subscribe. And if you have your own opinions, leave a comment. I love to hear from you guys. I love to hear what you guys think of Jesse Anderson coming to the format. I love to hear like how you think that they can, could incorporate uh, Ancient City into the game. Maybe even a, like a skill that just brings it up to three. Who knows? But anyway, guys, I hope you have a good day. I want you all to stay awesome. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.